she will think that maybe every time I will come and I will, start, I will insult Nigeria, that will make you happy. I insult Nigeria, you buy the private jets because I'm insulting my country, my Nigeria. Then take your private jets and go. I'm cool with my with my legacy jets. Okay, 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 my people, what's up? Waiting this sup? <laughs> when you see me laughing like this, oh my god, the Lord has done it finally. The Lord has done it finally. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Lillian. To all of you, my OGs, thank you for coming to watch this video. Those that are going to watch or cannot comment because I have blocked you. Hi there. How's life the other side? I hope you're doing good. Anyways, I am doing fine without your comments. But I would like you to please watch this video because I know that some of you will be wishing you get a chance to comment but unfortunately our relationship is now a distance relationship <laughs> anyways i am so excited to do this video because i did not know that a time like this will come when i will sit down and take my revenge on this guy so there's this nigerian youtuber in ghana you guys you know me i don't say i don't throw shade right i call people by their names and i would do that i don't regardless of if calling somebody by e by the name will give the person publicity or not i do not mind <laughs> i do i give freely freely i got freely i shall give <sighs> so for those that will be concerned oh lily don't give this guy publicity don't give this person the publicity no i will give and today i'm talking about this nigerian youtuber who lives in ghana this guy have been in the habit of making videos criticizing every nigerian that does content about ghana except if you are Igbo. if you are not Igbo, you pay so but his main target has always been the ladies all right so he has made videos about me when i was in my down moments you know that time i didn't know what is shopping in ghana i didn't know where all of this hate was coming from i didn't know that there were Igbo kingdoms in ghana i did not know that there were yorubas national i mean in ghana i didn't know so many things that i have finally got to know i did not know that there were Ghanaians that have their agenda to send Nigerians out of Ghana. So I thought it was all Ghanaians and I didn't know why. You know, at the cost of trying to understand what was going on, this guy added salt into the injury. Do you understand? I was in my down times when he made a video. Not just him, a couple of them made videos left, right and center. You know, I was dying and I was expected not to talk, not to defend myself because it's not a good thing to do. You have an image to protect, so don't respond to these people. <laughs> so I was dying and I want to bless God Almighty for seeing me through because some of you my amazing viewers you have no idea what we go through behind the scenes as content creators especially on YouTube here we show up here every day smiling looking all nice those that comes with aggression they do so on a daily basis but behind the scene we are dealing with our own life's demons we are human especially me as a single parent I deal with the issue of sometimes finance sometimes I think I'm thinking about how I'm going to pay the next school fees how I'm going to feed my kids how I'm going to like at least change their uniform or something get them a new pair of slippers because the one they are wearing is no longer their size how I'm going to do this I'm going to put food on the table how I'm going to basically pay my bills and it's not always easy for me but I put all of that behind me and show up here every single day wearing a bam smile but there are people that have made it a duty to make sure that they crush you especially men and majority of these men most times are nigerians right so mr manager niger news is trending again recently i just don't know why i was just on the streets basically uh you see a lot of the nigerian youtubers you see on youtube i am not subscribed to their channels especially the men 
trust me i used to be subscribed to mr manager right i stopped right um i unsubscribed because it was the right thing to do you know where we stand that is me you know where i stand if i'm with you or not with you or against you i have three stands in my life when it regards to people either i'm with you away from you or against you and i always like to make it very clear so but this particular nigerian youtuber i'm subscribed to him not because i like his content because come on this guy got no content <laughs> he got no content but i am subscribed to him because i wanted to put an eye on him do you understand you know how we used to roll back in the days when i was still coming out to take bullets you know fight try to calm everyone down try to make peace try to speak to my people that are in the habit of doing what i considered disrespectful towards other african countries right yeah i subscribed to him and turn on the bell notification so i could get my eyes on him 24 hours <laughs> I don't enjoy his content because basically nothing to offer i do not i don't i don't enjoy his content because i know him like i could see a whole lot i could tell like i know his mission so few days ago he made a video about manager Ninja news and this is what he had to say i will tell you guys the reason i'm taking a revenge on him <laughs> I'll tell you guys the reason I'm doing this video later, okay? I am putting him down. He's a fellow Nigerian, okay? I am not the people on YouTube that call throw shades, you know. Hey, this Nigerian. No, your mama gave you a name, right? I call you by that name. Because so I like to call people by their names because what profit will I get? I mean, how will it profit me coming out here to throw shade and just confusing everybody and putting everybody in pains when I know the name of who I'm talking about? I am a Niger Dayton and I am a Nigerian and we as Niger Daytons were trained to be respectful especially towards other people even if they are in our land or we are in their own land and they also trained us to not take nonsense they trained us to stand up for ourselves and stand tall to so get it later but let's start with this video of this guy bashing Ghanaians and Mr. Manager together bashing Mr. Manager and bashing Ghanaians together and when I'm done playing that his video I will tell you why he did it okay do not be in a hurry all right this is me coming out to destroy somebody on purpose it's not like oh Lily you are supposed to be no I know what I'm doing this one is me taking a revenge on somebody who have done me dirty so for everyone that have at some point play a role in making sure that my mental health <laughs> goes down you make me contemplate on maybe ending it all hmm? or deleting this channel it's just a matter of time you're gonna pay except you hold me some sort of you know i hold you some sort of maybe you have been a friend and all that you have been a good friend so you made a mistake but you see this guy so I'm talking too much. Let me expose this guy first and I'll be back. And this reaction video will be done differently because these people, some of these guys are evil. They could, you know, want to. So I am going to be here on the screen reacting to the video. All you have to do is watch it, okay? Uh, if I begin to post some uh, positive side of Nigeria, why would you be angry? Somebody who, who is in his or her right senses, why will he be angry that a Nigerian who is supporting Ghana, is promoting Ghana, is also promoting his own country? Why should he be angry? We are all one Africa, so why should he be angry? Now, coming to manager side, Mr. Manager side, sorry. Mm, this is the part. Mr. Manager, you see. I want you guys to hear this Nigeria. part. Him bashing Mr. Manager. Never in Nigeria. <laughs> it is only the foolish person that, it's only the foolish one that will use his or her left hand to point at his father's compound. It's only a foolish one that will do that. Looking at Mr. Manager's video, Mr. Manager's channel, it's all about. Uh, if you will not hear, anything you'll be, you be, you be seeing is a uh, uh, Nigerian man has raped a goat in Tamale. Uh, tomorrow you hear another one. Nigerian woman has raped a fowl in, uh, in Suyani. Then the other one you hear. Uh, Nigerian man has strangled his landlord to death in South Africa. So everything is bad, bad news about Nigeria. Uh, there is never a day you will see that 
oh, look at him. Oh, this Nigerian man has done this thing good. He will never see that in his channel. Everything, even there was a video he posted. Nigerian uh, Yahoo uh, say Nigerian Yahoo, you have used this uh, some woman waiting for for ritual in some place in Ghana. The people on the comment section we are we are uh, asking him that uh, how come this news we we did not see, we've not had this news in any other platform, we've not seen this uh, this news in on, uh, we've not heard this news on the radio, we've not seen it on the TV. The how come that we are only seeing this particular news on your channel, only on your channel? So he just at times. I have I have I have even seen some video that he posted that Nigeria have done this, Nigeria have done that. That video too happened in another country four years ago. Happened in another country. So all he all his effort, all he's doing is to tarnish the image of Nigeria, making Nigeria look bad, inciting Ghanaians to hate Nigerians. So Mr. Manager is not a Nigerian. I am not a bastard. It's only bastard that will come and uh, will use LF hands to point at his father's compound. I'm full Nigerian. So when they do something that is no good, I, 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 come, I say it. Hold on. I don't want this video to be boring. This guy said he's full Nigerian. No, man, you're not Nigerian, okay? You know where you're from. We'll get to that later. But he said he's a Nigerian, right, in Ghana. Let's play along with him. Like I told you guys earlier, this video is not targeted at me defending Mr. Manager. No, not now. A time will come when Mr. Manager will need to be defended. And that time will come. If I am still on YouTube, why not? I will stand up for him if I find a need to do so. But this video is me putting this guy out here, you know, for this act of cowardly. You know why I did this? He private the video. Why will he private the video? This is not the first time he has done videos about people bashing, about him bashing Ghanaians. We'll get to that part, okay? This is me commit. This is me doing this on purpose to someone that have done me dirty. I'm just out to take a revenge. <laughs> so, and the, the good thing is that I'm playing the video. It's not like I made it up. Boy, he had no idea. This video goes shock him. <laughs> he didn't know that before he private it, I have lay hand on it. And I'm so glad that I did. Let's continue. On good side too, I say it. Nobody is a sense. Neither Ghanaians, neither are they sense. Sometimes they talk about scammers, scammers. You think that Ghanaians too, they are not scammers. They have Ghanaians scammers. They have Nigerian scammers. Oh, Hold on, bro. Did you just call Ghanaians scammers? Did you do it? Guys, he did it. I understand. I know, I know, I know how this video is going to be received. I know Ghanaians that will laugh, roll on the floor for this video. And I know the ones that will be angry. Okay, me, I'm new in Ghana. He said he have been in Ghana for eight years. So he knows how to manipulate the whole thing, right? He can even speak the local dialect, you know. But, um, you know, I've always talked about a guy who used Chewy to change my story to make me look like the bad guy because I spoke up against some Igbo guys that did something. Like, you know, now this guy. So I'm here to take my revenge. Feel free to stop watching at this point. But if I were you, I'll wait and see the part where he bash Ghanaians left, right, and center. I'm doing this video on purpose, like, as for wickedness. Do you understand? <laughs> so, this is how I want Mr. Niger, uh, Manager Naja to deal with Nigerians individually. So I'm going to teach Mr. Naja how to deal with Nigerians instead of throwing shades all the time. Call like I do now with this guy now. Do one like this. Let him arrest you. Like me now, when I finish, I'll be waiting to see how he's going to arrest me. If he did not do this video or he did this video, when we get to the station, is this you or not you? When we go to court, is this you, man, or not you? So how did Lily get the video? This is why I say, call evil. Call people by their name. You're going to save everybody the stress, okay? If it is me, are they available? If it is whoever, call them by their names. There's, if they like, there's nothing they can do to you. Because especially when you are speaking the truth. The only time I will never encourage anybody to come up with a story against anybody is when you know it's not true. Because trust me, nemesis is real. Karma is real. I have seen people 
pay daily. If you don't pay, your kids will pay. I have seen these things and this is why I'm careful how I do things because I don't know. I've lived um, a reasonable part of my life on head and one day I will return home to my creator and I don't want to have my kids paying for things that I have done. So I deal with my shit. Do you understand? I deal with my issues. So let's continue. <laughs> Ganyas, this is the guy that said Lily Ogini is faking her love for you guys to get the views. He called me jobless, but he, the difference between me and him is that he's he got no his ball, he, he got no balls to call Lily by her name. But he throws shit and I'll play there. I'll get there later. Saying that the, the, the people who are doing scammers in Nigeria, they are more. You're talking about money ritual, money ritual. Then the Nigerians are not the only who do money ritual. You understand? So, uh, if is the yastic for me <laughs> yastic for bad behavior okay let's continue you cannot tell me to because I, I am promoting ghana i'm saying good things about ghana then i should not talk about the man you're you're not promoting ghana come on you're promoting nothing in ghana you're looking for traffic for your page and we'll get there this guy is not promoting ghana how do you promote ghana how Later, I'll tell you guys the people that are promoting Ghana, and I will call them by your name. I mean, by their names, and I will also tell you the YouTubers that are fake in Ghana. I'll call them by their names. Keep watching. <laughs> Inside of my own country, who does that? It's only the foolish person that will do that. So, Mr. Manager, you see, he has his own. If you are talking about YouTubers. Great YouTubers, there is no you great YouTubers today that you come out to the, you open the channel and see where that person, that particular person is downgrading a particular country in Africa. Let's look, use Odemaya as an example. Odemaya is only he promotes Africa. Oh man, forget it. You can never, ever, not you, you can be a Odemaya on YouTube, not you. I'm not saying manager can be, but. Never say never, <laughs> but you with let's continue. When you go to Rwanda, he will show you the, 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 the beautiful places in Rwanda. He promotes Rwanda, that is what to call content. Look at him, he can never, even if the uh, uh, Mr. Manager likes, let him do this kind of content from now to 100 years to come. He can never, he can never get 20% of Wodomaya. Come on, Mr. Manager is so close to a million subscribers, even though I don't. I don't want that for myself like that is style okay i don't want it but come on you are at where three thousand the Ghanaians gave to you just to support you because they know that you need it you don't even they go carry ghana name the answer asante very much <laughs> now this part they funny me this guy used to have a name on youtube suddenly he changed it my heart goes out to some of the ebos watching these videos on youtube some of the ebos on youtube especially the ladies okay because sometimes when we go through when when some of the people from the region does something i can i can feel it the ladies collect what do because see this is one of the regions where the men have no mercy for women except you are their family members or they are sleeping with you do you get it? This is when a woman is good for. No inheritance for a woman. A woman is... Let me leave that. Let's focus on this guy. It be like 20% of or even 5% of Maya. Hmm. We have great YouTubers here in Ghana. We have the likes of Pablo Sheldon. Look at the kind of content he do. Pablo Sheldon! Pablo Sheldon! Pablo Sheldon! Pablo Sheldon! Look at the kind of content he do. Pablo Sheldon! Kwajo has gotten into trouble with a lot of Nigerians, you know. Here, I, I see them accuse him of hating on Nigerians. And I see him get into trouble with Ghanaians yeah to you to do you what does that mean so if mr manager is getting into trouble with Ghanaians and also get into trouble with nigerians don't you think is kojo alike kojo rather kojo shadon alike anyways let's continue i just want to expose this guy because hmm, i didn't know that a day like this will come when i lily will have the opportunity right where the lord will prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemy and i will place my enemy on that table and and expose him so Ghanaians, you know your fake youtubers let so this kind of content will never even if like will never take you anywhere so i don't need only Ghanaians to uh, uh, survive on youtube
to be if i choose to you did you guys did you did you guys hear him Ghanaians, he said he don't need only you to survive so he need you plus others so i will tell you why this guy made this video but i want him to keep i want him to continue i need everybody i support i i i, I stand for positivity anything good in africa that is what i stand for so you don't expect me because i am making videos promoting ghana that i should not promote only ghana man respect yourself you're not promoting no ghana you're not promoting ghana come on you're not promoting ghana you're trying to promote yourself and uh, woefully failed at it <laughs> my own country i should be saying rubbish every time i should say rubbish about them then that will make you happy you know that is a Ghanaian that maybe that that one will always make you happy that i am inciting a trade well for, for Ghanaians to be hating nigerians that every time i will be making videos saying ill things saying bad bad things about nigeria and you as a Ghanaian, you'll be happy you'll be clapping for me now let me ask you if you come across a channel whereby a Ghanaian who is living in nigeria is doing the same thing every time he's saying bad thing about ghana his own country every time he's saying bad thing about ghana his own country sometimes he fabricates lies against his own people on the youtube space you what will you do as a human being that have conscience as a human being as a human being that have conscience and you say you want to be like Udemaya. Okay, go and sleep. Anyways, dear Ghanaians, okay, I want to apologize to you that we constantly get you guys into our mess. Okay, your only issue here is your only fault in this is that you decide to pay attention to us. Mm -hmm. You decide to pay attention to us. This is why you are being dragged into our matter. Normally, normally, it's not your fault okay because if i make a video about ghana and you don't watch what is your fault in that i will tell you why this guy made this video but like i said i want him i want to expose him first okay and dear nigerians at the comment section the reason i'm doing this to your fellow nigerian to my fellow nigerian is because this guy have done me dirty and this guy is fake this guy does not represent you in any ways i've seen videos of him making downgrading remarks about using delogatory words on nigeria and nigerians all right the only time you get them to respond the reason he's talking about manager now i wanted to know why he's bashing manager and bashing Ghanaians alongside so i decided to go to manager's page to see because me i stopped going there long long time ago the time i stopped going there was when i went and there they were throwing shades at all the youtubers in ghana so i stopped going there because it was messing with my mental health but i had to go back because of this guy to go and see why this guy is responding should i tell you why okay let's listen so i'll tell you why set your conscience and say put nigerians to, to if you are to be to you if you are to be you now they say a nigerian always always a you that is a ghana man now let me tell you your fellow ghanaian now every time you'll be making videos and insulting ghana as a country saying bad bad things putting allegations on their head sometimes what they did not do they will bring video and they will say that a Ghana man has killed this person i've done this i've done this why Ghana man did not do anything you as a Ghana man what will you do how will you respond to that particular person who is doing those kind of content sometimes we should put, put people in our shoes you understand see let me tell you guys something if you think that maybe every time i will come and i will start i will insult nigeria that will make you happy i thought nigeria you buy me private jets because i'm insulting my country my nigeria then take your private jets and go. I'm cool with my with my legacy legacy jets. You understand? This guy is sounding all nice, like some patriotic Nigerian, right? <laughs> I went to manager's page to check and see his crime, right? Why this guy will make a video about him. And there it was. It's because lately manager has been for the first few few videos I, I watched, because I don't want to watch any video where I'll go and hear my name, I'll go and hear anything about Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana. So I carefully selected the ones that I could, you know, I felt like I won't hear Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana. And there I think these are the videos of him talking about showing where this whole banter between the Igbos and Yorubas and South South Southerners, especially the Bini people, because of what is happening currently about, you know, all the banter in Nigeria that is no business of Ghanaians actually. 
if you ask me but manager have that on his page and this is why this guy is doing this video but why did this man quickly private the video is why i am sitting pretty here is the reason i am sitting here to expose him why did you private it don't you have balls down there bro you got bars you private it this guy called me lily ogini fake I have traveled to almost every nook and corner of this amazing country. I have loved in all honesty. I have, I don't know how else to love Ghana or Ghanaians. I don't know how else to express it, okay? I have loved them to the best of my ability. But this guy said all that I'm doing is because I want views because I don't have a job. We will get there. It's a long video, so please bear with me, okay? I am somebody that I am very real. I don't like to. Uh, if you mm. see my, my thing, I tell you my thing. I'm not somebody that. Bro, you, you, you unreal. You unreal. This guy isn't real, okay? This is the guy who will come on YouTube with a bowl of fufu and eat and be looking all like. He eats and look like. He makes me. I can't be eating and why this guy is eating on YouTube. I can't watch this guy's video. I can't watch a video of this guy eating while I'm eating. It's impossible because he eats like he's doing it to he's doing it to impress people. He's doing it to prove a point. People know it. gradually. Do you guys remember back then when I was still dragging Nigerian YouTubers who were in the habit of putting, you know, belittle in Ghana, belittle in Ghana, small time Ghana, belittle Ghana. Remember that time when I was still doing it? And you know, I was always telling you guys that these people are from one particular region. One not two one one region one region in nigeria with so many youtubers doing downgrading content about other african countries and that was when they all came together find ways use different corners to come together to maneuver their way to navigate to plan to manipulate and rise against me <laughs> they even said one of them i've cost that one already for me once i place a cost on you I won't even, your matter won't be bothering me again because, do you understand? I won't even bother about you again because I know, I know where I have left you to. So all these things happened to me because I spoke against some downgrading these people. Now is my time to expose this guy, take my revenge. Don't be in a hurry because it's a long video. <laughs> I'm going to expose this fake Asante Berima or whatever go back to your normal name man stop bearing the Ghanaian name and if you investigate this guy i dare you guys if you think i'm lying if you think i'm lying keep emotions aside and search this guy if you don't find ghana card with this guy you will certainly find a ghana card with this guy in position you find people like this they are in possession of ghana card in this ghana let's continue like chameleon or black and white no i am not that kind of person I'm not the kind of person that will be doing that content. When I stand, I stand for positivity. I stand, when I come here, I see how the light is very steady. I talk about, oh, how I wish we have this kind of uh, steady electricity in the year. I say, oh, Nigeria, we don't have steady light like Ghana. Me, I say my country clearly in the way they are. But this Mr. Manager, every time he's looking for something to tarnish the image of Nigeria. And which, if you can go, if you have conscience, just check the kind of content he's making. You guys, this is a long video. I won't play that to the end, okay? He has private the video. But if you guys want to see the full video, I will put it out here. I will just arrange it and put it in a way that I will not get a copyright for it. And I'll post it. But because I have all that amazing educative content to film today, I'm going to go back to the reason why this guy made this video. Now, watch. Now, listen. Hi, my lovely people. It's still your boy, Asante Berma. Thank you guys for always watching my videos. And please, if it's your first time, watch my channel, hit on the subscribe button for me. Okay, guys, today uh, is a very quick one. This video is not going to be long. Uh, something prompted me to do this particular video now. It's already late. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go to bed by now. But because I just want to respond to this particular comment. Look at the comment there. Uh, it was uh, just about the video I posted uh, some days ago. Uh, showing some uh, capital cities in nigeria some of the states uh, then somebody wrote this comment and he said uh, uh, that uh Ghanaians are go going to follow me that uh, i don't do manager type of uh, content 
whereby exciting Ghanaians to be hating on Nigerians. Then let me tell you now, I want to respond to this particular comment. I said, even the reply I gave to him was that my mission is quite different from Mr. Manager's mission. Uh, my, my, my own mission is quite different. I said I stand for positive. positive. So you guys, a Nigerian man left him that comment. Do you understand? We know all these things. We've been around for a while. I know when Ghanaians leave me. When I know when a Ghani when a comment is from a Ghanaian. Even though other Ghanaians will tell me, oh, just to console me, they will tell me, oh, it's not a Ghanaian, it's your people. Me, I know the difference. There was a day one of them came, even wrote in Chui, he's a Nigerian. Uh -huh. I went for him now. I traced and investigated and I found out. I just knew. I just knew, if you know the two personalities, how we are, I just knew that this one is Nigerian, okay? So this guy thought whoever left in that comment was a Ghanaian. So this guy transferred all his anger on Ghanaians. That is not all. He made a video about Nigeria, and that video did not get the views. You know how the YouTube platform is. When you make a video about what you are not used to doing on your channel, people will take it back of course even me i have said this um, when you do a video different from what people know your channel for when you stop doing a video when you do a video relating to a completely dif different topic people are going to a lot of that video will not get the clicks even if you are not talking about ghana Ninja. for instance if you are a youtube tech any day you bring any other topic to the channel it won't get the clicks like your usual videos so this is what these people don't get him and his cousin i don't know if you want to see a video of him talking about me do you want to see do you want to see it okay that one i'll play it later i'll use a picture because i'll just put a picture of me i'll play it i'll let i'll let it roll as many as they come you know where they were planning against me because i have you know at some point dragged you know i have tried to amend the image of nigerians i have tried to save every nigerian from going through the pain that people from his region are causing nigerians on youtube i am not in any ways this battle is not me fighting for Ghanaians or mr manager no okay i'm not doing that this is me taking a revenge this is me exposing who called me fake i can't i shouldn't if there is any youtuber in ghana that people will call fake it shouldn't be me for heaven's sake how how fake can you be in this life how fake can you be i have climbed a mountain in ghana at about 11 30 pm in this country i have climbed a mountain a total stranger, a foreigner. I have gone to places where foreigners are, foreigners don't have the gut to go. I have gone to places in Ghana where I knew nobody. I have been to every nook and corner. I have enjoyed it. I have given my reviews. I, according to his brother, he said that it was manager that told me about Kwewu. Hey, Jesus. Nobody told me about Kwewu. Of course, some of my subscribers left a comment regarding that. But I first saw a video of Kwewu on YouTube by one guy. So when I saw the zigzag road and I saw the deals and I saw how beautiful it looks, I could. I just knew I wanted to be there because I love the mountains and I love the beach. So Kofi, my friend, told me more about the place. And then Rose, a subscriber of mine, left a comment regarding that. So all of this attributed. And when I told another friend of mine that I wanted to go to Kweu, it was like, oh, you won't get accommodation by this time and all that. But I insisted and went. But when they, when they wanted to twist the story, they tried to use manager to talk about me so that Ghanaians some Ghanaians of course would dislike me because now manager have helped me in their own opinion and then I'm paying him back with evil manager <laughs> I'm not here to defend him like I said a time will come when you need me but not now when that time comes we'll be here if, if he's on the side of the truth of course I'll stand up for him but if he's not of course I'll mind my business to understand so I just want to expose this guy you see in Ghana this is it. This is it. This guy is a bricklayer. Focus on doing your POP thing. 
is lucrative. What are you doing on YouTube? He said he's uh, here because he's love. I'm exposing him like this guy have done me dirty. Okay. He talks about my matter like I'm owing him money. He do this thing. He talk about single mothers, how he hates them. These are people, if you check this guy out, you realize that these are people with no fathers. Do you understand? Who have just father figures sitting there with many wives who are who, who, who parents are in a toxic marriage. They will come and abuse. Should I have left my kids to come and sit down and or hide them like some people do? This habit of not wanting to go down alone as a Nigerian whenever you are at fault, it has to stop. Okay, when you are at fault, take it. Don't drag other Nigerians with you. What was my offense? At what point did I make a video? Okay, he said, I said, um, I, I wish I'm not in a dark country. I'm going to play that later in the video, like I said. Uh, how did God make me into this dark country? Yes, I am the one that left a comment on Rachi's um, video because then I didn't know Rachi's um, Raj online. I didn't know Raj contents are targeted at where he is right now. I thought it was him fighting back to defend his people. I didn't know his mission will later change, which I'm not condemning him. Neither am I saying he shouldn't. He is Ghanaian. He has his right to do whatever he want to do to foreigners in his country, right? So me not talking about Rush does not mean he's out of fear or whatever. No, at some point, so then I didn't understand his content. Now that I do, I have left him to do his thing. I'm not even, I'm no longer subscribed to the channel i left because that's not my own ideas i thought it was how to deal with nigerians that are wrong at that moment like he caught them deal with them i didn't know that his channel is targeted at where he's taking it right now i mean at, at the time i stopped going there so i left rush a comment saying i wish i mean who will be happy to come from a country where you are paying for the sins of other people your passport is being you are being treated in certain ways just because you're from that country who would be happy hmm? who so i'm not defending manager like i said i just want to expose this guy on period he said he can't do without you guys shona here this guy used chewy because he can speak in chewy to manipulate change my story gathered and they drank beer on top of my head hmm. Ah, I didn't know that a day like this will come, okay? Mm? We now live in an era where mothers are now shamed for being mothers. Women are shamed for being mothers. And, but we are not supposed to talk about a woman who, who can have kids. It's an abomination to talk about it, but it's okay to shame mothers, women who have kids. We now live an, in an era where... Married women are being shamed for being married, married shamed. But you as a married woman, you cannot talk about a single girl, a single lady with no husband. You can't talk, it's an abomination. We now live in an era where it's okay to openly condemn Christendom, to condemn people's faith and belief, to condemn. And, um, but it's not okay for you as a Christian or someone of, from a religion, a certain religion, to condemn a pagan, those, you know, to talk about unbelievers. We now live in an era where it is okay to broke shame people for not having money, but it's not okay to stand up and criticize a scammer. Do you understand? This is the era we are. I'm not following. Like I said, I'm not here to defend manager or whatsoever. I'm not because my message to him the last time was made clear because he said, oh, don't trust a Nigerian, even if it's four years. And I have kids here in Ghana. My niece is in, she's in form three here in Ghana, in a private school in Ghana. So she goes to school and then she have all her classmates and all her teachers avoiding her, distrusting her just for being Nigerian. So will I be happy? No, I won't be. So... You can see, I still stand Gidigba on my, I still stand my grand on my message to him. Deal with Nigerians individually because you know our, you know how our people, you know how our people are. If Ghanaians do not know that we are different, you as a Nigerian, you know our difference, right? You know that someone from here do this the most. They are the ones with the, this habit. Call that person by instead of throwing shit. Are you afraid of people? You have a lot of audience that loves you. Call somebody by their name and and talk about as long as that thing you are saying is the truth. Talk about it. 
make sure it's truth because sometimes when you are lying most time all times when you are lying against somebody they can't fight back because they cannot but karma will take its course when it comes how will it feel so this is my point so this video is not me defending mr manager it's me exposing this guy to you all so that you can see so he was angry that Ghanaians did not engage in that video he made of he made about nigeria they did not engage so he got depressed the other one his brother have quickly deleted his own. When you make content, so these people come and pretend, I mean, they call you fake, while whereas when, in, when they are the fake people. So I'm glad to have exposed this one. I will leave him to continue ranting in this video. If you like, continue to watch. I will put a picture of me and change his audio, the tune. Because this kind of people, he looks like a native doctor back home where he comes from. Some people are just evil. Like, if manager didn't talk about his tribe for 100 years, if manager continues to talk about Nigeria for 100 years, this guy will not raise a finger. He's raising a finger now for the few videos according to my investigation that manager is making. Hmm, Nigerians, we are gonna be fine. I, I feel free to do your videos, dragging Ghanaians, South Africans, whoever you wanna drag, feel free to do it. I'm not coming for you anymore, but I just want to expose this guy, okay, so that people can see between me and this guy who is fake, who is, this guy posts videos like a million times a day. He will tell you, it's not for the money. May you not make the money since it's not for the money. For those shaming all of us, some of us, for me now, I say this is what I do for you. Do you know how much, how much time I spend on here? You said a manager cannot be five times with the Maya. So in case Mr. Manager did not see this video, see it. This guy quickly private it. His Nigerians, his uh, Igbo brothers were telling him, don't worry, if Ghanaians don't support you, we, we, we got you. We will support you. <laughs> so I just feel like exposing him out here so that you people can see because the video is already on private. I'm done with this video. I'm done doing evil in this video. And of course, as always, the unsubscribe button is working. Okay, feel free to use it. And for those that can't comment, that wish to, I hope you're good. Don't worry. Tell it to yourself, okay? It will be fine. All right, I'll see you guys in another video. <laughs> Let me leave him to continue ranting, okay? I'll see you guys another time. Meanwhile, them being positive, they are trying to tell us that there is nothing positive about Nigeria they can talk about. You see, are there no good things in Nigeria or better things in Nigeria? Is the Nigeria country bad in everything? No. So why don't you talk about those things since you claim you are positive? That every day Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. One annoying topic or caption that they give, a uh, Nigerian man was shocked. Nigerian man was surprised. Nigerian man was shocked. Nigerian man was surprised. Meanwhile, in their videos, there is no Nigerian man. We are not saying don't promote Ghana. Never. Nobody. Uh, yes, uh, yes, I agree with this man. I agree with him. This man is very right. He's very correct. So uh, any reasonable person, any sensible person will understand what this man is talking about. You see, I've, I've made a video the last time telling these ladies that one day, you see that Ghanaians will know what he are doing, will know the secret, will tell you what he are doing. You understand? And I believe, I'll see uh, some, of them, some of the Ghanaians are speaking out. They have seen what I've been telling them for, the, uh, for, the, for a very long time now. You see, let me tell you something. See, sometimes these girls, they will come and make videos and they will tell you that Ghana food is the best in the whole world. Whereby they don't even eat Ghana food. Watch their videos from the beginning to end. All their videos watching, you will never, you never see them eat Ghana food. Or they will come out and they will tell you that Ghana food is the best. After talking that on camera, they will come and do like this. <laughs> that is what they do. One thing you got to understand is that it's only a foolish person that points at his, his or her father's compound with the left hand. Only a foolish person will do that. We are in Ghana. What we we'll do is to promote the good things that we see in Ghana. If you look at my content, watch very well. Whatever I say is based on facts. So the reason why I made so many content against my people, it's not even against them. Look at my content that I make. I make so many content. I can explain those contents very well. I said, can I have more steady electricity than Nigeria, which is true. And even when I traveled to Nigeria, I made the same content. I was telling them. They said, yes, you're saying the truth. Then some people come on TikTok and other social media platforms. They will say, ordinary Ghana, ordinary Ghana, Ghana of yesterday. Then I said, no. Don't call Ghana, Ghana of yesterday because they got independence before you. And I also said, that Kwame Nkrumah played a very vital role in the liberations of many African countries, including Nigeria. These are facts. I also promote Nigeria in their own good ways. In the area they are doing good, I promote, I show the people, this is, this is it. I promote Ghana because I love Ghana. I'm in Ghana. I stay in Ghana. I live in Ghana. I promote them. I talk about the good things. But I don't fabricate stories. This is what I can never do. I don't downgrade my own country in Nigeria like to come and install it the way these guys are doing. Because I know now, this kind of video I'm making, now some people will, will come and say, you too, you are among. Or watch my content very well. Listen to it. Listen to what I say. So these ladies, even one of them made a comment. He said that, oh God, that he regrets why she, she come from that dark side of the world. Now she is referring to Nigeria as, as a dark side of the world. In Nigeria, your place of birth. Your country of origin, you are referring it as dark side of the world just because they want Ghanaians to subscribe for you. They want Ghanaians to show you favor. They want Ghanaians to like you. 
you think that Ghanaians are not sensible? You think that Ghanaians are not wise? Um, the last time I told you that you don't understand them, you don't know how they, they, they behave. I've been here for getting to eight years now. I will explain Ghanaians very well to you. They will be watching you, you'll be doing something, they will just be watching you. They will be watching you. Some people too, they will be clapping for you, but they are monitoring you very well. They know whatever you're doing, they know. You cannot deceive them. You see, uh, desperation, they're too desperate because I believe they got no job here. They got nothing good to offer to Ghanaians. They don't have anything aside that YouTube they are doing. So for them too, they can insult their mother, insult their father, deny their parents just because they want Ghanaians to watch their videos and subscribe to them and get some little, little favor. Now, uh, they, they, some of them could go to the extent of bringing issues that cost people pain years ago. These issues of 1960-something and 1980-something, the issue of Ghana must go and Nigeria must go, that caused people a lot of pain. They are bringing back those pains to those people, uh, victims, those victims. They are bringing the pains back for them, reminding them the pains they have already, they have already forgotten. You understand? Do you, do you see how foolish these people are? Okay, now, I was watching one of them, they said that uh, they, if Ghana uh, take their revenge or do anything or start uh, harassing Nigerians and pushing Nigerians that they deserve, it's well, it's well, that they deserve it. He's just saying all kind of rubbish. These are not the kind of things we need. These are not the kind of things. What we need is progress, peace and progress in Africa. But well, these ladies here, because of their, uh, how would I say, they are too desperate. Because of the way they are desperate for small, small money they get on YouTube, they are doing anyhow, talking anyhow. Things that, that they don't supposed to even say, they will come out here, they come out on YouTube and they will be saying it. Okay, imagine if, uh, 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 if this thing can trigger a lot of things. It can trigger a lot, it can cause a lot of problems, this kind of content they are doing. Okay, okay, let's assume today now. Ghanaians decides, okay, to listen to you. They come out for revenge to, okay, attack Nigerians. Or come out with a kind of xenophobia or something like that. Do you think that you that is making this video, you're going to be safe? Your subscribers are telling you of saying, right down, right down, we are at your back. Let me tell you, when the consequences begin, when the, when the consequences, when things, this when you are drawing, when the rest start to fall, you will, you will, there will be no hype. We are too desperate, which is not good. We are too desperate. Jimmy Jimmy Neyom. In one basket. In one basket. Yes. <laughs> because if if, 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 if that basket uh, spoils the whole. Yes. 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 So I saw one of your video where you, you made a video about uh, Nigerian YouTubers that are based in Ghana. I, that the video also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yes. the video I saw it. Yes. I was in my room and I got the notification. I saw no, the video. No, I, I, like, I, 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 I don't like pretense. Pretense. No, we pretend too much. I don't like it. And over everything is no good. Over too much of everything is no good. Yeah. I don't like people who are too over ambitious, who try to go to any length to achieve what they want. It's not good. Now, come on, tell me that everything in Nigeria is bad. No, 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 no. We have bad, good, good things. You cannot tell me that good achievements. You cannot, tell me, you cannot tell me that because you like me, mm. and you are telling me that your father and your mother they are fools for me to see mm. that you like, like me. me. I will see it as a setup. I will take it as a joke. A joke of faith. Because because you cannot you cannot choose me over your parents. There's no how. No matter what your parents might have done to you, mm. there's no way you can choose me over, over your, parents. your parents. You can easily there, get, there is wisdom in this. You, yeah. you can easily get different friends, but you cannot get different parents. Mm. <laughs> so what you say? Yeah, yeah. Let me come to the So some of them they will come. They will say. Can I, yes, I've watched videos when some of them say that Ghana food is the best in the whole world. Mm. Whereas when you watch their videos, all the videos have been posting from beginning to end. Mm. You've not seen them eating Ghana food before. Mm. You've not seen them eating Ghana food. Mm. The food they say that is the best. The food that you said is the yeah, best. Yeah, you have not tested it. You've not even tested it. It has been Ghana food is the best. It's the best. I also saw somebody comment, one of them, telling God, asking God, why did God create me in that dark side of the world? Why did God create her? He said, what? He said, in that dark side of the world. The person made a video. No, it is a comment he made somewhere. Okay. He's also a YouTuber. She's so, a YouTuber. Yeah, she's referring to Nigeria as the dark side of the world. Dark side of the world. No matter how Nigeria is. Who is the person? Uh, no, me, yeah, I don't like Okay, you don't want to mention the no, person. I don't like okay. but I will just uh, kind of. Okay. It's, a, it's a very long statement. Too. No, is there a lady that's made a video? Yeah, or a lady, you are referring your content. Okay. Because somebody is bashing your content. Mm. Yes, it was under a video where somebody was bashing your content. Mm. You go and make that video there. For that person to see. Okay, to, yes, the person who made the comment. Yes, yes, under, for you to uh, uh, see that. Okay, you, you have sold your country. You are coming there to sell your country. Yeah. Yes.